Hello, Internet. Hope you guys had a happy Thanksgiving. Uh, I know I did. Plenty of food. But it was cold. Not as cold as when I was going through the mountains, but whatever. Um, before I start off on finishing up my story, as a goddamn fire truck swings by, I hope you guys can hear that. It's pretty funny. Um, before I start off the story, I'm going to just go ahead and give a little shout out to uh, Jareski. Jareski. I'm I don't know how to pronounce your name, dude. Just, you know who you are. Uh, I tried using the the setup that you recommended, and it it was just bad. It was bad. About ten matches, and my best score was twenty nine and like nineteen. It, they were all pretty bad. But it, if you're not, it gave me an idea of what to do with all that footage. Uh, so you'll be seeing that uh, soon, sometime. So thanks for that. And uh, anyways. So let's get started to my story. I was, where was I? France? Germany? Yeah. Somewhere around there. Anyways, uh, I went to uh, Germany and France, which is really cool. Um, uh, what I noticed is that as long as you uh, are clean and aren't a douche, they pretty much just uh, welcome you. They're like, yeah, go ahead. Party on. Let's do this kind of thing. And it was really great because after so long of not really talking in English, um, to a lot of people, I uh, would meet occasionally someone who would speak English, and they would help me through. So uh, Germany, France, and then my favorite spot, Italy. Oh my God, I loved Italy. The the climate was wonderful. The people were just so fantastic. And we'll leave it at that because I don't want to go on in detail about what happened unless you guys want me to. Um, but that'll be in another video because I'm not doing it here. Ha. Um. So. From Italy, I went into Spain, and it was easy because after working on a ship, they pretty much let you on, no problem. Pretty much ask you a couple questions, and if you can answer them, they let you on. Uh, so I hopped on the ship again. Uh, so I went from Spain to Portugal. I crossed that little whatever the hell, like the Red Sea? No, it's not the Red Sea, is it? Whatever sea it is, I don't know what it is. So I went from... Uh, Spain into Portugal, um, and then from here, Portugal was cool, I mean, it was just a little bit different, uh, area, and again, I mean, I was just, uh, bumming around, for people who don't understand, uh, how the hell I could have survived through all this, I mean, you just meet up a couple of cool people, um, hang out for a while, they make sure you're not crazy, you make sure they're not crazy, and they pretty much let you, let you crash, you know, wherever you need to go. <clears throat> or you could just find yourself a nice little alley. I don't care. I've done it before. But a lot of times, actually. And, um, so yeah, uh, that was Portugal. And at this point, I could have been either going, I could have headed south to Morocco, um, or I could have figured out a way to cross the Atlantic back to the United States. And after a year and a half of all this, I was like, man, I want to go home. I would like to sleep in a bed and not worry about where my next meal is going to come from. I would like to not sleep in an alleyway and wonder if I'm going to get stabbed in the middle of the night. I would just love all this stuff, you know? Uh, so I made it my mission uh, to get across the Atlantic. Um, and then, you know, after talking to, I mean, Portugal, huge, huge fishing country, huge, huge fishing country, even though they... Um, Shouldn't have made it as far in the World Cup because Ronaldo is overrated. <laughs> he didn't do nothing in this last World Cup. Honestly, what did he do? Nothing. He stood there and looked good. Whatever. Anyways, um, I managed to get a, a ship that was crossing over into uh, not the U.S., uh, but it was going up to Canada, um, pretty close to Greenland. Iceland kind of thing, so it was um, it was pretty fine. I mean, it was it was Canada. Once I hit to Canada, I still had my passport. I mean, I I only kept like two or three things uh, originally from when I first started this trip, and one of them was my passport. Um, an, uh, another one would be like just little souvenirs, uh, different like dollar bills uh, that I you know that I collected over my travels. And um, yeah, once I hit it to Canada, it was easy. It was easy. I mean. It was from Canada down to uh, 
California. No big deal. Even though uh, once I got there, it was two years later than when I started off. You know, it was no big deal. I mean, it's almost, it's, it's what's two years? Stopped in 05? So it's been five years since. And I don't know, I'm thinking about doing it again, but I doubt it. Um, maybe I got just recently got a motorcycle, so I'll probably drive down through uh, South America and then come back up. But yeah, that was my story on how I circumnavigated the world in about, I don't know, about 400 bucks. So, if you guys had any questions about any of this or what happened or who I stayed with, because I know I, if I would have gone into detail, it, this story would have been like three hours long. Um, if anybody has any questions about what happened at all, just leave me a comment down below and I will uh, answer them either in the comments or uh, my next video. Uh, but that was that was my story about how I circled the world. It's pretty cool. Uh, I'll. I'll go ahead and leave this little uh, quip story, proverb, tale, I don't know. Um, I was at a, as I said before, I got a motorcycle recently, and I had to go to the MV to take tests, register cars on my name, or the motorcycle on my name, blah, 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 blah. But while I was there on one of the trips, I noticed uh, I sat next to a little kid, and I have, I have no problem with kids, you know, uh, they're kids. They're going to do stuff that you don't want them to do, but whatever. But... His mom, I'm assuming his mom, uh, was sitting next to him, typing away on her cell phone, more than likely Facebook, and playing some Farmville or whatever the hell they play on, you know, Facebook nowadays. And the kid was pretty much being ignored. Uh, so he grabbed the clipboard that she read all the stuff on. She didn't even look up from her phone. She just kept clacking away, clacking away, clacking away. And all she said to him without looking up was, don't throw it. He's like, do not throw it on the floor. Kid looked up there to notice that she was clacking away through the through the through the clipboard on the floor. The mom didn't even look over at him, looked at the clipboard and went, ugh. Picked it up. That was it. And I was just like, really? Really, lady? But whatever, anyways, I digress. So the kid then looks over at me. I look over at him. He licks the end of his finger and then rubs it on my pants my pants I'm not a big fan of that I told the kid don't do that he looked at me and again still the mom clacking away clacking away the kid looks at me looks at his mom finger lick finger pant and I said this time to the mom like excuse me control your kid he's licking the end of his finger licking uh, putting on my pants I don't appreciate that she doesn't do anything he then proceeds to do it a third time as my score limit is reached. So that was the end of that video. I'll finish it up, or story, I'll finish it up next video. Uh, again, if you have anything you want me to talk about, let me know. Uh, I'll go ahead and do so. If you have a class you want me to try it, I'll try it out. Maybe I'll get some inspiration do a different video. I don't know. As always, thanks. Have a good one.